and welcome to FS19 new mods and wow we actually getting mods this week pretty cool so let's go to the mod hub update to see what's going on in there and we have the MF Series 3000 by Black Sheep Modding and that's a four wheel drive model and a two wheel drive model bit of old school and then the New Holland 180 55 by Pepe 978 which is a new crawler track there that's the slightly bigger version I think 180 is that horsepower maybe and then we have the Cow's Barn by Camillo's 0397 Cow has been really with moderate, moderate European style 100 grand 100 cows seasons ready then a portable shelf by Nico Pixies portable and comfortable shelf in six different ways okay then we have the trail lifter by Pepe 978 trail lifter for the crawler tractor then we have the placeable liquid fertilizer and herbicide placeable silo for liquid fertilizer 50,000 liters and that's by Miss B and then we have an update for the RS 1400 by poly count and fixed points of location of PTO when it's attached new tarp movement new color on body and tarp as configuration new store image added sliding disc on bottom of rotor and then we have a new one which is the French sheds by DMI 20 mm Normandy a shed for your crops or machinery cost 30 grand is it intended for medium size equipment and then we've also got an update for optional fertilization which is they've added Lampkin Solitaire 23 could not be filled fixed a better and more detailed mod description then the machine hall has also had an update and that seasons ready the added seasons mask and the Steiger has had an update as well added color configuration and also the fillable fuel tank where we had issues filling this up so hopefully we won't have issues with that now it's had an update Fixed triggers, points made more wider. Fix the name of the tank to read fuel tank. Grain markings are now show because they didn't show before. And that is your lot for today. Right, so first off, we have the Massey Ferguson Series 3000 by Black Sheep Modding and proper nice bit of kit, really is. Coming two wheel drive and four-wheel drive now the four-wheel drive are forty-five thousand pounds and initial leasing cost of two thousand two hundred and ninety five and the two-wheel drive which i love this this is classic this is what i used to see when i was on on the farm when i was a lad and this one will cost you thirty five thousand pounds and it's one thousand seven hundred and eighty five pounds on your leasing costs now the slot count is quite low on them they're only minus 12 on the slot count and they do come in quite a few different engine configurations ranging from a whopping 73 horsepower to 115 horsepower which will cost you an extra eight and a half grand you can have front fenders on there or not front fenders and also front loaders an extra 800 quid and we have knock-ins and trail ball tires now the knock-ins are just the normal sort of uh, grass sort of tires and then the trail bogs there are quite a few different configurations and we have got wides on there with wide wheels and all the normal stuff and we have got a couple of different narrows on there as well which is a quite good little tractor for fertilizer spraying spreading but cracking bit of kit it does look fantastic it really does bit of old school on the back where there's not much going on because there never used to be a lot there so let's go inside so going inside and we've got proper old school analog display on the revs and then I didn't see oh the pedals are working it's just the lights a bit pants and lighting on the dashboard three sets of lights indicators so going outside then what have we got we got those lights and those side lights and the back ones on as well yeah and then then the back ones and then it must be the front no it's the back first and then we have the front full beam as well B 
beacon but nice little tractor you can have the weight configurations on the front of it as well where there's a 500 kilo weight a 800 kilo a 500 kilo is 600 pounds the 800 kilo is 900 pounds to buy that so nice bit of kit now I did I've used them a little bit just see what was going on and we put the help window on because we have got a few things we can do let's I'll tell you what let's take off that front loader first so that doesn't get in the way and you see we all down R1 L1 and we've actually got the door open which is surprising it's minus 12 slots and so it doesn't need loads of slots on doors then I take it I don't know but that opens and then we have the back window as well what opens but really good visibility all inside on these ones and four-wheel drive one you can see I've got the weights on on the front of that now one little glitch I did find with it was with the front loader whereas when you're picking stuff up it starts doing this hopping and it don't stop I picked up some pallets earlier and it went whoa it just it threw the tractor well there we go see starts going absolutely mental every now and again it's a bit uh, crazy uh, I don't know why it's doing that obviously not tested right but it doesn't do it all the time it's just when it's digging in you can see it starts jumping around a little bit so you might have issues if you're going to pick something up it might pick it up and throw the tractor but there you go it is what it is it is new so we can't expect them to be absolutely perfect but nice bit of kit done a cracking job really nice and I do like the way when you start it up you can see the uh, stop the rain going in the exhaust the cover on the top pretty cool that is and I've only just noticed that um, number plate on the top there that's proper old school cracking mod anyway next one is the New Holland 180 55 crawler track tractors now these are pretty cool these are a little bit bigger than the one we've got at the moment this is the 180 horsepower 9 mile an hour top speed because it is on tracks and it's minus 12 on the slot cane as well now you can have different configurations for the weights on the front there where the 500 kilo is 600 quid the 800 kilo is 900 quid and then you can have the option of the rear linkage on it as well where at the moment all you've got is an attacher so you can have the rear linkage but we also had this as well for it so perhaps originally he wasn't going to put a linkage on it so we're using the trail lifter on it instead so you don't need the trail lifter you can use this now going into what moves and we've got the back draw bar there you can see it goes from left to right so you can lock it wherever you want which is a bit different I haven't seen anything else with that pretty cool but inside you can see when we do that as well the the lever it's really dark sorry but uh, this light's a bit pants I should have fast forward time a little bit and yeah basic complete basic control started up and we have got the lights on the dash which that's pretty cool always, always nice to see them for the main beam and then indicators yeah we've got nothing on the dash for indicators but I don't think you really need it and then the speedo obviously works as well we see the sticks moving just like that a nice tractor really is now you can have a two options on the tracks where you can have road tracks or your normal tracks I can't remember how much they, no road tracks were grand it comes standard with these ones which you're off road tracks and then it's got the rubber inserts in between for the road ones I didn't really notice any difference in the sound and again I haven't got the sound that high up 
but they do sound pretty cool and steering for it pretty awesome because it's on tracks you can just spin it around on the spot love that love it and when you're driving this the noise is off the tracks pretty awesome the squeaking I like that But overall, fantastic job. It's nice to see these different type of tractors, a bit of old school coming back in. It's nice to have new, but it's nice to have some of the old as well. So that is the 18055 New Holland. Doesn't come in any other different colour combinations. It is what it is. So moving on, and we have the trailed lifter, which this is meant for for the 180 basically and this is seven and a half grand to buy 389 82 pounds on your initial leasing cost minus four on the slot count and you can have road wheels or wide tires these are the wides the wides are 300 quid and the road ones are 200 pounds but nice looking bit of kit looks like a trail lifter it's quite compact to the other trail lifters well the one other trail lifter we got at the moment where this is quite short and it makes a big difference that does so let's hook it up to this one what hasn't got an attacher so this is what you use if you've got a tractor for anyone who doesn't know and it's only got a hitch then you use a trailed lifter so then you can pick up your implements with the three point on the back of the lift the trail lifter so we've got three points there now as we didn't have it there so now we can pick the plow up but well let's just so we go and pick the plow up reverse up attach and there we go yeah so we're not going to do anything with that trail lifter are we now i was thinking oh it needs lowering or whatever and it's like no it doesn't this one you can move side to side and it won't let me lower it oh it will now it wasn't let me do it earlier so yeah in the raised position we seem to have a weight issue where it doesn't recognize the fact that the tractor is that heavy so it's all right when it's down but it means now if you want to drive it to wherever your job site is then you're gonna have to drive it down because as soon as you raise it up it's gonna start tipping up again and well you can drive it it does drop down a bit but you see it goes all over the place look that's not me doing that it's just all over the place so are they rushing these mods out too quickly is what i'm asking now it's like well you know they're in testing and then i don't think they actually test them on the console because we are on console and i always find a few problems every now and again but it is what it is what can we do about it not uh, a lot so we drop that down so that is the trailed lifter so next mods are the portable shelves now when i got these i thought okay so what the hell are we doing with them so the old idea is you can they are portable you can drop them down or you can have them erected whatever you want now there's quite a few different models i think it's, there's a six all in all and basically we start off with the first one for 500 pounds minus three on the slot count and then the next one is 500 pounds uh, 400 pounds and 20 pounds initial leasing cost next one is 300 pounds so basically the height wise we're starting off at three meters by one meet one and a half meters high and then it doubles the stack up so this one is three meters three meters high and then we go up to seven meters and one and a half meters high then three meters high then the big ones are the 10 meter ones and they're one and a half meters high or three meters high so so i got them out and i got the front loader and that's how i managed to that's how that tractor flew up in the air i'll show you
so anyway so to use these you put it on your front loader and maneuver it wherever you want and then you go into it like it's a tractor and then you unfold how cool is that because I did wonder I thought well how is it gonna fold and unfold how the hell is that gonna work but it does work so let's go into the bigger ones it might be in the way of all the other ones oh no it won't because it moves yeah it will it just pushes them right out of the way so that's the 10 meter one and three meters high and there it is and you're still in it but I like that it's something a little bit different let's try this one now this one's gonna probably move everything right out of the way oh no it just fit pretty cool now this one's gonna throw everything all out now I think yeah so if you want portable shelves they're here there they are I like that pretty cool right on to the next mod which are a couple of placeables so here we have the placeable silo liquid fertilizer and herbicide storage now I thought okay so that's pretty I thought it was a buy point but it's not it is a storage so it holds 50,000 liters quite cheap 1,972 pounds to buy and then there's minus two on your slot count but does it work I can't get it to work how how do you fill this up so you, you want to put fertilizer and herbicide so I've got a tank of liquid fertilizer and herbicide and it doesn't have it and I thought oh well the herbicide it must be um, powder but of course herbicide is just liquid anyway and I can't get these to unload in here so I don't know what the crack is and then I thought about it and thought well it's like the fuel um, the fuel one we had the other day I had a message off I can't remember who it was now but basically he was having troubles filling it up and when I did it on the video it all worked fine but when you went back to it after it yeah the trigger was too low and it was just an issue to fill it up and I think I got that same issue now if you've managed to fill this up let me know because I'd love to know how to do it because I've been messing around with this for well for too bloody long simple as that that's why I'm late getting this video out where I was like well we've got to try and get it working and this is what happens you just waste your time messing around on stuff well it is like well how do you fill it up what do you use to fill that up do you use another tanker but then it's like well where do you get the the herbicide from you can only buy herbicide from a sale point or one of these so the only other way I suppose is to put it in a tanker I didn't try that one and I spent too much time messing around so let me know if you've managed to get that working because it was getting on my nerves really was I had enough of it and here is our next new mods for FS19 and we have the French sheds now there's two different ones they're both the same money one's got an open bit on that end and then so it's just got two walls and then the other one has got the three walls there now it has got some this pallet leaning against it and a barrel over here which shows you can pick it up but we can't pick it up it's too heavy object too heavy and there's, there's another pallet of bits and bobs don't know what that is there but nice looking sheds you got the guttering all down no guttering on the back though how does that work then uh, nice textures on it pretty cool shed M medium size and 30 grand minus 14 slots now I think this one was minus 14 and that one was minus 11 so two new sheds then moving on we have the new cow shed now this comes in two different models basically where you've got the one over here and this one there it's got this extension on the back there so let's go in and have a look at this one so on the outside of it this is our slurry point 
to take the slurry out and then we've got our manure point just there so we move on down the sides and there's a brick built building and i do like the way the mortar isn't done perfectly it's been a bit of a slap dash to get that up which i wouldn't have paid the bricky for that but that's just me so we come over this way and that is your milk point there so that is where you're going to get your milk from and then we go in and this is the animal dialogue everything works i haven't had any issues with it i made sure we the tmr so your food is just there that's that trigger and then we go over to the end here and this is the straw trigger just there and going over this way is the water trigger and this is the extension we've got on the back of it basically so going in these doors when you open up the one side it blocks that side which is a bit of a design fault but it is what it is and checked it all out all the cows are working no issues oh there's a water trough there i didn't notice because i was thinking well why drop it there and it's like the trough is on the other side of the wall that is why but all inside we've got these Lele Luno cleaner uppers I don't know what you use them for let me know if you know and then we've got the milking area just over here but I've got cows in and you can see we've got no issues with it they're reproducing everything's good only put in total mixed ration but there you go Right, well that is your lot for FS19 new mods. Right, well that's your lot for FS19 new mods. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and if you did, always appreciate if you smash that like button for me. And if you're new to my channel, why not go and check out one of my hundreds of farming simulator videos. And you never know, you might even want to subscribe trying to get a thousand subscribers before the end of the year and we're just coming up to the 800 mark so we are getting there i was doing about 100 subscribers a month or just over so not too bad righto thanks for watching and i will see you next time